Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. Have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. Sometimes life's going to hit you in the head with a brick. Don't lose faith. I'm convinced that the only thing that kept me going was that I loved what I did. Taking LSD was a profound experience, one of the most important things in my life. LSD shows you that their apostrophe s another side to the coin, and you can't remember it when it wears off, but you know it. It reinforced my sense of what was important, creating great things instead of making money, putting things back into the stream of history and of human consciousness as much as I could. Why join the Navy if you can be a pirate? The only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking. Don't settle. The heaviness of being successful was replaced by the lightness of being a beginner again. I've read something that Bill Gates said about six months ago. He said, I worked really, really hard in my twenties. And I know what he means, because I worked really, really hard in my twenties too. Literally, you know, seven days a week, a lot of hours every day. And it actually is a wonderful thing to do, because you can get a lot done. But you can't do it forever, and you don't want to do it forever, and you have to come up with ways of figuring out what the most important things are and working with other people even more. That's been one of my mantras, focus and simplicity. Simple can be harder than complex, you have to work hard to get your thinking clean to make it simple. But it's worth it in the end because once you get there, you can move mountains. People who know what they are talking about don't need PowerPoint. You know who the best managers are? They're the great individual contributors, who never ever want to be a manager, but decide they have to be manager because no one else is going to be able to do as good a job as them. Sometimes life hits you in the head with a brick. Don't lose faith. Apple at the core, its core value is that we believe that people with passion can change the world for the better, and that those people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who actually do. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. The unions are the worst thing that ever happened to education because it's not a meritocracy. It turns into a bureaucracy which is exactly what has happened. The teachers can't teach and administrators run the place and nobody can be fired. It's terrible. I'd been rejected, but I was still in love, so I decided to start over. Computers are like a bicycle for the mind. Computers themselves, and software yet to be developed, will revolutionize the way we learn. Il pensiero che sarei morto presso e stato il più grande aiuto che abbia avuto per prendere la decisione importante della mia vita. Ther che praticamente tutto, tut la aspettativa del mondo esterno, tutto l'orgoglio, tut la per l'imbarazzi della sconfitta, tut quest co semplicemente svanis quando di fronte alla mort, las condo solo quel che è importante. Ricord arvice davrit morire e il modo migliore per non cadere nella trappola, e pensare di avere qualcosa di perdere. Siete già nudi. Non se motivo per non seguire il vostro cuore. When you're doing something for yourself, or your best friend or family, you're not going to cheese out. If you don't love something, you're not going to go the extra mile. Work the extra weekend, challenge the status quo as much. I naively chose a college that was almost as expensive as Stanford, and all of my working class parents' savings were being spent on my college tuition. After six months, I couldn't see the value in it. I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life and no idea how college was going to help me figure it out. And here I was spending all of the money my parents had saved their entire life. So I decided to drop out and trust that it would all work out okay. It was pretty scary at the time, but looking back it was one of the best decisions I ever made. 
the minute I dropped out I could stop taking the required classes that didn't interest me, and begin dropping in on the ones that looked interesting. I was worth about over a million dollars when I was 23 and over 10 million dollars when I was 24, and over a hundred million dollars when I was 25 and, it wasn't that important, because I never did it for the money. At Apple, people are putting in 18 hour days. We attract a different type of person, a person who doesn't want to wait 5 or 10 years to have someone take a giant risk on him or her. Someone who really wants to get in a little over his head and make a little dent in the universe. We are aware that we are doing something significant. We are here at the beginning of it and we're able to shape how it goes. Everyone here has the sense that right now is one of those moments when we are influencing the future. The Macintosh was sort of like this wonderful romance in your life that you once had, and that produced about 10 million children. In a way it will never be over in your life. You'll still smell that romance every morning when you get up. And when you open the window, the cool air will hit your face, and you'll smell that romance in the air. And you'll see your children around, and you feel good about it. And nothing will ever make you feel bad about it. Finally Jobs proposed Apple Computer. I was on one of my fruitarian diets, he explained. I had just come back from the apple farm. It sounded fun, spirited, and not intimidating. Apple took the edge off the word computer. Plus, it would get us ahead of Atari in the phone book. You can build your own things that other people can use. And once you learn that, you'll never be the same again. Ultimately, it comes down to taste. It comes down to trying to expose yourself to the best things that humans have done and then try to bring those things into what you're doing. The people that have really made the contributions have been the thinkers and the doers. The Lisa people wanted to do something great. And the Mac people want to do something insanely great. The difference shows. Once you discover one simple fact, and that is everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. I always advise people, don't wait. Do something when you are young, when you have nothing to lose, and keep that in mind. That's why we started Apple, we said you know, we have absolutely nothing to lose. I was 20 years old at the time, Waz was 24 to 25, so we have nothing to lose. We have no families, no children, no houses. Waz had an old car. I had a Volkswagen van, I mean, all we were going to lose is our cars and the shirts off our back. We he had everything to gain. And we figured even if we crash and burn, and lose everything, the experience will have been worth 10 times the cost. We are very careful about what features we add because we can't take them away. The really great person will keep on going and find the key, underlying principle of the problem, and come up with a beautiful elegant solution that works. On the blue box, that was what we learned, was that us, too, we didn't know much. We could build a little thing that could control a giant thing and that was an incredible lesson. Don't take it all too seriously. If you want to live your life in a creative way, as an artist, you have to not look back too much. You have to be willing to take whatever you've done and whoever you were and throw them away. We were really working 14 to 18 hour days, 7 days a week. For like, 2 years, 3 years. That was our life. But we loved it, we were young, and we could do it. People judge you on your performance, so focus on the outcome. Be a yardstick of quality. Some people aren't used to an environment where excellence is expected. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. Being the richest man in the cemetery doesn't matter to me. Going to bed at night saying we've done something wonderful. 
That's what matters to me. When I was 17, I read a quote that went something like, If you live each day as if it was your last, someday you'll most certainly be right. It made an impression on me, and since then, for the past 33 years, I have looked in the mirror every morning and asked myself, if today were the last day of my life, would I want to do what I am about to do today? And whenever the answer has been no for too many days in a row, I know I need to change something. Your work is going to fill a large part of your life, and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking and don't settle. Almost everything, all external expectations, all pride, all fear of embarrassment or failure, these things just fall away in the face of death, leaving only what is truly important. There is no reason not to follow your heart, 